This is comeback season, the rise of the Phoenix. I lived the rock star lifestyle, experienced what fame and fortune felt like, and lost it all. I got a taste of it, and I know I won it, but I gotta do it right this time. like he never left. What is happening? Eric Ellis here, CEO of WolvesAcademy.com, the Wolf of Marketing, the leader of the Wolves Mentality Movement. Eric, where have you been? Let me not act like enough people actually care enough to wonder where I've been, but I decided to create this video anyways. In this video, I'm going to be discussing what's happened over the last two years to where I've been missing from creating content. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish off the video by talking about what to expect from me moving forward. Am I gonna create content again? Am I gonna provide value for you? What's going on? What's next? So let's talk about why I stopped creating content. I wasn't really happy or proud about the type of content that I was creating in the past. I was creating really get rich quick content. I wasn't providing value. I wasn't changing lives. But then when I would create the type of content that I really wanted to create, YouTube wouldn't display my content. And that's where my ego kind of got into play. And my intent behind why I was creating content wasn't really pure. I was just creating content to make money. So the stuff that I wanted to really create wasn't being shown. And then when I would create content, that was get rich quick and get all these views, but it wasn't the type of content that I wanted to create. I felt like a slave, it was weird. So stopped doing that, started making majority of my money on Instagram doing lifestyle marketing. And I was floating at about $10,000 a month. And then I got into ads. Once I got into ads, things blew up and I ended up averaging about $1,000 a day, doing about $30,000 a month. And this was life changing. I went from six figure earner to multiple six figure earner. Then after that, I had one marketing campaign that changed my life forever. The reason why it changed my life is because it shifted my paradigm. It shifted my belief system. I had a campaign that just took off and it scaled so quickly and I had it documented that I generated over $10,000 per day. And if you want proof, check this out. So this is going to be the last day of this campaign case study. Obviously, I'm going to continue to scale this campaign to the moon. However, the reason why this is the last day, because if you guys notice here, we spent $3,394.63 on ads in one day yesterday and we made $12,066.50. So we went from zero to over 10K per day in seven days. So in February 2020, I was broke. In February 2021, I ended up retiring my mom, which was the best moment of my life. Good morning, happy Friday morning. Today is December the 5th. Today is the day that my son, Eric Ellis Jr. has asked me to turn in my two weeks notice at work. Here it is right here. Pops, I love you. I appreciate you doing this for me and I just wanted to let the world know how much I love you. I appreciate you and um, thank you. Then, after retiring my mom, I ended up getting this Bali mansion and I had six to seven bedrooms. It was called the High Life Estate. And this is when I became rock star, Eric. And I'll go ahead and show you guys some clips as I'm talking. This is when I tapped into overindulgence and selfishness. And what I mean by that is it was all about me. I was worried about how I looked, how my brand was. I was traveling and I was partying all the time and I was popping bottles and I was living this luxurious rock star lifestyle. And the problem was is that the thing that got me to that lifestyle was my business. And I took my eyes off of my business to live this lifestyle. Now, let me explain why I did this. I've never made this type of money in my life. 
That month, I cleared $140,000. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Imagine going from a negative bank balance to $10,000 a day in a matter of eight months. I'm pretty sure you'd go a little bit crazy too. So I had a team. They were managing my ads. So I would wake up every single day and make $10,000 a day without doing any work. Yo, so I just woke up. I woke up a little bit late because yesterday was a long day. You can see the sunburn on my face, but check this out. October 7th, today, woke up to $11,620 one day. And then if we look at my ClickFunnels account, Wolves Academy LLC, owner Eric Ellis, today we made 13,000. And in the last seven days, we made 56,000. So instead of managing the scale and the craziness, I decided to be selfish and I decided to overindulge and get into alcohol, partying, women. The clout started getting to my head because I started being known where I was at. Every time I would go out, I would spend thousands of dollars. Like I was just super reckless. And then I kind of got a little bit toxic. I ended up losing one of my friends. His name is Polly Long. Oh my God. Good, My God, my God, come on. Crazy come right on, now. man, come on, man. Yo, yo, I can't believe I'm We used to throw parties together. We used to build together. And aside from my business dwindling, some of my relationships dwindled. And I think it was because I was just toxic at the time. Yo, let me tell y'all something. This was life about. I woke up. I woke up at a damn storefront like a homeless man and they called the uber and said hey take me home god damn it and then i ordered uber eats right here my business started to fail i was like okay cool business is going downhill i was living in this villa and i was in deep isolation i was grinding my face off but i wasn't yielding any results i was trying everything stop the cap <laughs> Not everything, let me stop capping. I was trying really hard and just business wasn't working. Then I continued to try to get my business off the ground. And believe it or not, while I was in isolation, my business did start catching traction again. So as soon as I started failing and as soon as I started making money, I have a pattern. When I start to make money, I usually lead to destructive habits. I think I need some sort of reward. So I ended up going to Columbia and balling out of control. I'll show you some of the clips as I'm speaking, but I had a, an event in Columbia and I was balling out of control. So basically what happened was I made $10,000 in the matter of a couple of days promoting this event and I ended up spending $10,000. $10,000 to rent out this mansion, $10,000 on clubs, models, girls, content. Now the cool thing about it is that the content that I did capture, I do use for marketing materials, but I spent all this money just, again, going back to these, this rock star lifestyle and this, these destructive habits. So once I got to that rock star status, I didn't want to let it go and I couldn't let it go. And I ended up after that event, I ended up moving to Miami. Rent was about four to $5,000 a month, which was just stupid. And it ended up going to a point where my business started to fail again and I couldn't afford my rent. And I ended up going to a negative bank balance and I ended up sleeping on my mom's couch. I was in a position to where I couldn't even fulfill my obligations. Fuck paying my bills. I couldn't pay my mother's bills. And she was getting back on bills and she was like, I'm gonna get another job, EJ is which my mom calls me, I'm gonna get another job. I said, you will not get another fucking job, point blank period, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and make shit happen. And the beauty about this is, even though I lost all my money and I had a negative bank balance and I was sleeping on my mom's couch, I still have the skills that you can't take away from me. I know how to market, I know how to close, I know how to build businesses. So in May, we just had our biggest month this year so far. And we did $29,747 cash collected. And we're about to scale up to $100,000 a month and then we're about to scale beyond that. So if you want me to teach you, click the first link in the description or go to wolvesacademy.com and hear more about what we're all about. 
and you can work with me and we can go ahead and help you tap into financial abundance and financial freedom. But aside from that, whether we work together or not, what you can expect from me is on a weekly basis, I'm gonna create content and value for you. And I'm also gonna go ahead and document my journey and my comeback as an entrepreneur. So if you wanna go ahead and see that come up and you wanna see the comeback season, Eric rise like a motherfucking phoenix, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way every time I drop a new video, you get access to that heat.